Cloud Channel. CRM Guru is the perfect place to learn Dynamic 365 and Power Apps. Before we begin our session, those who are new to this channel, please subscribe and like our video. In this video, we will discuss about increment and decrement variables in Power Automate. So incrementing or decrementing variables are common operations in programming and automation. So it will involve in increasing or decreasing a value by specific amount. So first we will see about increment variable. So increment variable is increasing its value by a certain amount. So this is generally done by using a plus plus operator in programming language. Plus plus is nothing but plus one. Okay. And it will add one to the current value of variable. For example, the variable count is five. And if we increment it, mean plus plus we are doing then if we increment it its new value of count equal to 6 5 plus 1 is 6 generally where we will use this increment variable mostly we will use in loops counters or iterate over a sequence and so on okay and uh, next one is decrementing variable so so decrementing a variable means decreasing its value by a certain amount so this is typically done using minus minus operator in programming language which is nothing but minus one okay so it will subtract one from the current value of variable so current value of variable stock is 10 and if we decrement it the new value of stock is 9 mean 10 minus 1 is 9 so where we will use this decrement variables mostly we will use in countdowns or reducing the number of available resources and so on okay and where we will use this increment or decrement in power automate for example if you take where counter is equal to 0 where counter is equal to 0 increment it by 1 okay so why we are going to increment it to count the number of items or number of events occurs okay and we will decrement by 1 to track the number of remaining items in a list okay so in these scenarios we can uh, consider in power automate next we will see some real time scenarios so we will take two two scenarios when a new record is created in account entity then increment count by one if the record is deleted in account entity then decrement count by one so first one is for increment scenario and second one is for decrement scenario so for this we need two platforms so for account object we are using dynamic 365 platform um, so here we will create or delete the account records and power automate to implement logic for increment or decrement so let us see in practical how we can apply these two scenarios using power automate flow so i have created a flow with name increment and decrement variables okay i have taken a manually trigger a flow which is an instant flow and i have created a one variable okay and you can see here i have taken name as count and this is an integer because we are going to increment and decrease the numbers so i have taken integer so initially i am assigning 10 to the count okay now the count will be 10 initially now we need to see increment variable and decrement variable so where we can get this increment and decrement variables so we are having a in go to the new step here you can find an action again you can go to where which is a variable so when you click on variable you can see we have covered initialize variable set variable append to array variable and string variables so there are two op other options decrement variable and increment variable okay first we will see about uh, decrement variable so decrement variable you already know decreasing value by one okay count so here i am selecting a count from this initialized variable and uh, how much you want to decrease suppose i want to reduce five count should be reduced to 5 every time when it run so then 10 minus hard coded values i am giving here whenever you are in real time you can give the dynamic values as well so for now i am taking 10 here and 5 here so uh, the output should be 10 minus 5 so as i told you to get the output we need to take a compose compose and here i will take the count okay. so from here i am taking the dynamic value now save it the output should be 10 minus 5 and it the output will be 5 
test it run the flow done okay now you can see so initial value is 10 so decrementing by 5 10 minus 5 the output will be 5 okay and now we will see an example for incrementing a variable okay now here instead of decrement variable we can take now i'm going to delete this step you can click on these three icons and you can delete this step okay now i am going to take increment variable again add action variable here you can see increment variable okay now here you can take the count so here initial value is 10 now here i am going to increment by 5 okay in increment variable i am incrementing by 5 so now the count should be 10 plus 5 is 15 okay let me save this and run the flow Turn done here you can see integer value is 10 and the count is uh, incrementing by 5 where the output of this value will be 15 so as we discussed two scenarios like when record is created and when record is deleted so let us take these two examples and uh, we will do with the dynamic triggers okay and the platforms will be dynamic 365 platform and power automate platform let us see this okay so for this till now we have seen manual trigger so which is instant those scenarios we will take dynamic triggers okay for this we need to go to the flow again as you already know here there will be flows you click on new flow now here you need to go for automation and you click on cloud flow so here you see automated instant and schedule v till now we have worked on instant now i am going with automated flow okay when you select this it will ask a flow name so let me give this flow name as dynamic variables increment and decrement okay so here as i told you we need to have a trigger here till now we have taken a manual trigger now we are going to take automated trigger when our trigger should happen when a new record is created in account entity so for this we need to select a dynamics platform so for dynamics platform we will have a dataverse so if you want to type it you can type it or else you can scroll down here there is a dataverse so you see this right so here microsoft dataverse when a row is added or modified or deleted okay this you will select and create so here when a row is added or modified or deleted so we will have here options create added or deleted or modified if the record is modified or if the record is modified or added or deleted so deleted modified so we can choose one option for now our scenario is when a record is created means which is when a record is added okay so where so we will have tables in dynamics so you can select the account table okay and here the scope will be organization okay and you can uh, if you want to change the name here you can change it when a record is added okay and uh, so the trigger is done we need to implement a logic for increment and decrement so we will add a new step we will take one variable so we are going to initialize one variable and the variable name you can give as count here we will select integer so initial value we will take uh, based on the crm records count account records count okay so we have initialized variable let me save this so we have a dynamics environment so we can go navigate to the dynamics so here you see the account object so if you select the accounts so we will see all accounts you, so you can see the count here so total 70 records are so you can see here the count total 70 accounts are available so right now what we are doing when a row is added okay so if it is added so we need to increment it so we have taken initialized uh, initial count 
the count should be 70 i am taking 70 as a counter initially okay so now we will take a new step increment so increment variable count so here we will increment count by 1 so whenever new record is added it should increment count to 1 70 plus 1 should be 71 okay now i will take one more step compose operation compose so here we will take dynamic value count okay let me save this so the flow is saved now this is a dynamic trigger so whenever a record is added in dynamics then this flow will trigger okay it is not a manual to test it so right now i am going to crm and there is a 70 count i am going to add one record i am giving account name as test and save it now you see the count here so now the count is 71 now you go to the flow and see either this flow is run or not okay come back and now you need to open this dynamic variables now you can see it is succeeded you can open this so now the count should be 70 plus 1 71 initialized variable count is 70 and incrementing by 1 where the output will be 71 and the 71 matches to 71 records okay now we will take an example for decrementing variable so for decrementing a variable we need when a record is deleted okay so this trigger we need to take the trigger is nothing but record is deleted okay now here we have taken added right instead of this added i am just changing this to deleted okay save this so after it is saved then you see already we have taken 70 so now the count is 71 so take here the count is 71 and the delete this increment variable now we are going to decrement so now we need to again initialize decrement variable If you type decrement it will give here decrement variable you can select from here okay again i'm selecting count so how much you need to decrease you need to decrease one if the uh, record is deleted then one count should be reduced so i'm going to save it and now i'm going to delete this record okay i'm going to delete this record so select the test which you created and delete this record so once the record is deleted you can see the count here it changed to 70 so now all total records count is 70 okay now you go to the flow and check come back from here and open this flow so you can see the second run which is succeeded 39 seconds okay you can open this now the record count should be 70 71 minus 1 which should be 70 so initial the count of this is 71 okay and it incremented by 1 and it decremented by 1 and the value should be 70 and if you need to update this in crm or if you want to send it in any email or whatever the action you can perform based on your requirements Thank you.